Hey, Lenny Gale, Life is No Yoke. I want to answer the question, what's the difference between the new Explorian E310 and the old Vitamix Pro 750s? So before we walk through the differences between the Explorian E310 and the Vitamix Pro 750, I want to make one note. The blending quality, the results that you're going to get from both of these machines is equal. So we could do a blend off. I could show you two green smoothies next to each other, but they're going to look exactly the same. So we'll save the time and get right into the, the specs and the details. So first of all, the body. The body is similar. They look similar. I think the Explorian E310 is sort of a combo between the old C series, 5200 if you remember those, and these G series. From the sides, you can see a difference. There's no on off switch on the Explorian. So if you like the safety, uh, the added uh, safety feature of having the on off switch, that is not on the Explorian. To clarify here, the on off button on the side that is featured on the Pro 750, is sort of an extra, it's a secondary on off switch. So it's that added level of safety if you have little kids running around the house, rambunctious pets. Uh, the backs are a little different too. The back of the Pro 750 is more sort of streamlined, better for that open kitchen concept. If you look at the back of the Explorian, this is for something that's gonna sit up against a wall. There's a big label with the serial number and the specs on the back. If we go to the front, you can see the fronts are similar. On the Explorian E310, this model does not have pre-programmed settings that you will see on the Pro 750, but the switches are similar. They feel almost identical. Do I look like I know things with this new beard? The lids are similar. They're both made of sort of that old school rubber. The difference is on the Pro 750, it's much wider because the container on the Explorian, it's a 48 ounce container that comes with it and then a 64 ounce, so two liter, 1.4 liter, respectively. I used to wear glasses to make me look smarter. Also, you can see the handle on the Explorian does not have that rubber ergonomic uh, handle, whereas the Pro 750 does. Uh, another difference, if you see, if you saw our unboxing video, the Explorian E310 comes with a little getting started book. The difference here is the one that comes with the Pro 750. It's a little more robust. It's hardcover, it's bigger, it's thicker. It's a little, there's a little more to it. I need a glass of water. What you can't see is under the hood, the motors are a little different. The motor on the Explorin E310 is that 2.0 motor, similar to what was in those old C series, those 5200 motors that are made to power the narrow three, uh, narrow containers with a three inch blade. The Pro 750 has a little more robust motor made to power the squat 64 ounce container with a four inch blade. Now, is it more powerful? Yeah, technically, but you're not going to feel the difference. The uh, output, the, the, the quality of your blends does not make a difference. If you like to know, it's okay that you move the camera, it's okay. <laughs> if you like to know, if you like the idea of having a more powerful motor, you'll go with the Pro 750, but really you're not going to be able to feel the difference between the two. Both uh, both, uh, both the Explorian E310 and the Pro 750 are compatible with all the legacy containers. So 32 ounce wet, 32 ounce dry. Also the personal cup adapter, which is over here, I can reach it. So the personal cup adapter is compatible with both the Explorian and the Pro 750. Meaning you can put a 20 ounce cup full of smoothie ingredients, blend, take it off and go with both of these machines. So I want to make it really clear, we're, we're comparing apples to oranges here. The Explorian E310 has fewer features than the Pro 750, for sure. But that's why the price points are what they are. And so if you're looking to get into the Vitamix family, if you're looking for better blends, if you're looking to change your lifestyle and do it most affordably, the easiest way, the Explorer E310 is a great option. We are very excited about this model. People have been asking for the low profile, asking for the, for the narrow body, 48 ounce, 1.4 liter container. This is a no frills, no extra features, no extra bells and whistles Vitamix for people looking to get, get one and get one most affordably. Uh, we're really excited about this model. And I want to reiterate, these two make the exact same things. Both machines can make smoothies, hot soups without any heating device by just using friction. Uh, ice cream, 
nut butter, um, dips and spreads, hummus, our famous queso, they both can make everything. The difference, and this is actually an advantage of the E310, is the minimum batch size for the exploring here is smaller. You don't have to make as much because of the narrow bodied 48 ounce, 1.4 liter container, which is why people have been asking for it. People want to make more reasonable sized uh, ice creams and nut butters Especially in a machine like this. Especially if you live alone. So when we would hear, we hear from a lot of uh, elderly folks, and that's great. Uh, I guess our sense of humor rings true with senior citizens. What machine should I get? Or what machine should I get my, my mom or, my, or for my dad? And we've had to say get an S series because those are the ones that have the smaller minimum batch size. They came with that really small container. This is now gonna be our answer. Get the Explorer in E310. It's priced very affordably. It's so reasonably priced, especially if you use those easy payment plans, it ends up being like 20 bucks a month. You can make small smoothies, small soups, and small batches of ice cream easily in the E310. So for grandma, grandpa, um, someone going off to college, what's that, Shelby? A bachelor. A bachelor. If you've had another blender in the past and have always wanted a Vitamix, and, and oh, and the other thing is, this is new, and so a lot of the comparable Vitamix machines at a price point like this were those certified reconditioned, and those are great, we love those. We recommend those to all of our friends and family, but this is at a similar price point, but it's brand spanking new. What else can we say? I think we just okay. talked you through the whole thing. We're, we're excited about this thing, we really are. We love the Pro 750, and we love the Ascent that we're gonna talk about in a, in a video in a second here, but this is the purest, most classic Vitamix that we've seen in a long time, so we're excited about it. We'll be recommending it strongly. And thank you for watching. Hey, if you appreciate this video, videos like this, like and subscribe. Go head on over to our website, lifeisnoyoke.com. You can find all sorts of resources. And we would love to help you find the Vitamix that's right for you and help you use it. We are supported when, when people like you use our link to Vitamix to make a purchase. So if you're ready to do that, use our link to Vitamix. We so much appreciate it. You'll get free shipping. You'll get any discounts that are uh, need to be activated. And uh, you'll also get a, a starter kit from us, all sorts of things, a recipe book, an ebook. That's redundant. You'll get all sorts of things from us worth a ton of thousands of dollars worth of time and energy. You'll get my phone number to call me if you need anything Vitamix related. That's the starter kit. So. Do use our link just before you check out at Vitamix.com. We so much appreciate it. And um, I need a glass of water. You need a Vitamix. Thank you for watching. So this is the E310 compared to the Vitamix Pro 750. There's a lot of feature differences, but the quality and the output are gonna be identical. Which is why we're not doing the blend off. Because it would be fruitless. Pouring the same smoothie into the two separate Yeah. Things. We've already had green juice this morning. We can't drink more. <laughs>